Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about memory allocation in C programs. So here the C language supports two kind of memory allocation. Okay, so memory allocation means allocating memory. Okay, for the variables or files or data. Okay, so here it allocates the memory through the variables in a C program. Okay, so variables are used to store the values and this value is stored in the variable at the memory location. Okay. So, there are two types of memory allocation in EC programming language. One is stack memory and another one is heap memory. So, stack memory is also known as static memory allocation and heap memory is also known as dynamic memory allocation okay so stack memory is allocated during the compilation time okay so when you compile the program so static memory is allocated for the program or variables or values so when the memory is allocated at the run time is known as dynamic memory allocation so at compile time is known as static memory allocation at run time is known as dynamic memory allocation so in this video i am going to discuss about only static memory allocation in the next video i will explain dynamic memory allocation okay so in static memory allocation the memory for the data is allocated when the program starts okay when you start the compile compilation the memory is allocated for the data okay the size is fixed when program is created okay so when the program is created for example int a okay so for integer variable it allocates four bytes of memory okay so this memory is fixed okay the size is fixed when the program is created, it applies to global variables, file scope variables and variables qualified with a static defined inside function. So, when you use a scope of variables, okay, or variable, uh, when you declare the variables inside the functions or global variables. So, all these variables comes under static memory allocation, okay. So, when you allocate the memory at the program creation that is known as static memory location that static memory allocation is fixed okay because the memory is allocated during the program creation so that's why the memory is fixed okay key features okay variables get allocated permanently for example if you declare like this so four bytes of memory is allocated for this a variable that allocation is fixed permanently allocation is done before the program execution okay before the program execution the memory is allocated for the, all the variables it uses the data structures called stack and implement static memory allocation so the data structure stack is known as linear data structure it allocates the memory for the variables continuously okay this is a stack less efficient because the memory gets wasted because the memory is permanently allocated and if you don't use that memory the memory gets wasted there is no memory reusability so after allocating this memory you cannot use this for another use okay you cannot reuse the memory for any other variables okay so let's see the one example about static memory allocation so first one is program execution starts from main function int main int b so b whenever you declare some memory is allocated for this variable okay this is the declaration next c of 10 so for c 
it allocates 10 memory allocations return 1 so it returns 1 okay so here in the b you are not uh, you have not stored anything in c also you have not stored anything so that's why this memory is wasted so in the program creation itself the memory is allocated for this b variable and c variable okay so that's why this is known as static memory allocation so static variables so what are the static variables as the name suggests the value of static variable persists until the end of the program a variable is declared as static using static keyword so this is static int x static float y so these variables are persist until the end of the program so a static variable may be either an integral type or external type internal type or external type like local variables and global variables so static variables also either in local or global okay if you declare the static variable as global so you can use that static variable throughout the program okay if you use uh, if you declare the static variables inside the function then you can use the static variable only within the function okay that is the difference let's see so here program execution starts from this int i i is equals to 1 okay i less than 3 that is 1 less than or equals to 3 is it true or false yes it is true then we are calling the stat function okay so static int x is equals to 0 so x contains 0 next x is equals to x plus 1 so that is x is equals to x plus 1 1 next we are displaying 1 so after execute first iteration the x value is 1 okay so x value is 1 if you uh, now i value is 2 2 less than or equals to 3 is true okay so here x contain the value that is 1 okay now x plus 1 1 plus 1 2 now again i value is incremented to 3 3 less than or equals to 3 is true okay now 2 plus 1 that is 3 so first iteration the value 1 is printed x value next iteration the value 2 is printed and again the value 3 is printed okay so here the value of x is within the function not outside the function okay so every iteration the value of x is incremented so this is the output for the program x is equals to 1 x is equals to 2 and then x is equals to 3 okay so i hope it is clear if you have any doubts regarding to this video please comment me in the comment section for more videos please subscribe and share my channel thank you